Hey everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. So now we're going to be um, discussing a bit more on who to reroll for. This includes SRs and SSR. So for SR, I'm going to have a selected few of 3 to 4. And for your SSR, I'm going to have to caution you on who to select for the reroll because you'll be getting a free one in the 7-day check-in and also uh, a selector an SSR selector on the 8th to 14th day check-in. Okay, so let's start off with your SR. So you have her already. It's going to be Iriri. She is going to be... There There might be drops in terms of your rerolls, so she could break through her. She's one of the best starting healers in the game, probably up to the mid-game. If you don't have Dina she can be serviceable up to the end game so next is going to be senko senko is a good damage dealer for the row herself so she does physical damage here and has a chance to restore hp of 80 percent of attack so she has a built-in uh lifesteal um mechanic and she is going to be good all around defense and offense okay so next up for your sr is going to be snez hana one of i think the best srs that you could have in this game i've used her up until now i'm in the mid game probably nearing the end game and she does fantastic work so magic damage Tons of damage for the front row because she has additional magic damage to the target with the highest HP as well. 149 plus 60. That's roughly around 200 plus. And when an ally is controlled, she gains damage plus 20. So again, a lot of damage for her kit. And the last one for the SRs, if you don't want to use... Um, if you don't want to use... Uh, what do you call this? Eriri, forgot her name. You can also use Iori. Okay, Iori is one of your supports. She's a pseudo healer, um, also, but she excels more on she heals, but she also has shield. So a portion, a portion of her healing is going to be a shield and a heal, and it's going to be for the back row. Okay, she raises her shield and heals the back row allies. So instead of the front row, she heals the back row while Eriri heals the front row. Okay, take note of that. So those are the four SRs that I'm talking about. So Senko, Snezhana, Eriri, and Iori. Okay, let's go through the SSRs. Um, that I think you will have to... Um, what do you call this? Uh, take note because again uh, for the free SSR selector we are going to get Fenriru. Fenriru one of the best DPS cases unit that we have. I can't say more level her up. She will take you through the end game. Um, she deals a lot of physical damage and a lot of incre uh, attack increase armor plus 10. You can actually get her here so when i go back so she is going to be free here in the seven day check-in so here she is on the second day you don't need to pull her in the reroll unless if you want additional copies of her so you can pull her in the reroll or just in case you have pulled her in the reroll then she will be she'll be used that that copy will be used for a breakthrough so she is free in the selector don't um, don't purposefully summon her in the reroll and also for, let's go through the ones that um, you might be able to reroll for, but they are available in the selector. The selector is on the 14th day, so you have to wait for her. So first and foremost is going to be Yulia. Yulia, one of the best um, defenders. She, she has taunt. Um, what could I say for Kit? I've been using her since day one and she has been perfect for me. She is available in the SSR selector. So again, 
if you don't want to pull for her in the reroll, then she's available in the selector. Next is going to be Kiki. Kiki, one of my favorites. Also DPS. Too bad she's been nerfed, but her kit is still very good. She does a lot of damage at 249, but it's going to be a random row of enemies. Again, she's available in the selector. You don't have to um, select her. You don't have to reroll for her. And also, we're going to be talking about Dina. Dina, she's been elusive. I, I've been wanting to get her. I'm waiting for her in the selector. She's available in the selector, guys. You don't have to reroll for her. But just in case you might get her in the reroll, she's also a good one to have. Okay, so best heals in the game so far for ssr and for i only have four recommendations for you for the reroll or who to reroll for so the first one on my recommendation would be niz niz is one of the best damage dealers and it has a chance to freeze you have to do a reroll for her because up until now i have i don't have her she's one of the best actually in controlling um tempo and also dealing damage so uh candidate one for your reroll is going to be niz your next candidate would be uh audrey audrey is one of the best supports that we have so cast a support for teammates so add Two rage to all targets, so it makes you um, you know faster. So again, Audrey is one of the the best supports that we can have, especially for rage. And next is going to be Mori. Okay, Mori is your third one in terms of um, in terms of priority for reroll. So Mori is one of, is the best single single target damage dealer to be have so that is why you should pull for her i don't have her either but if you want you could re-roll for her and the last one to prioritize for your re-roll which i think you should is one of the best ssrs in the game which is i can so i can um 73 magic damage and this one is damage to all enemies which is rare because now most of the cases have been nerfed to either four targets random, two targets random. But this one still damages all. And with the bonus true damage equal to 5% of the target's max HP. Again, she's one of the best DPS or damage dealers that we have. Um, also, when allies cast skill icons, crit is plus 5, stacking up to 6. So that's a plus 30 max. And lasting the whole battle. So again, she's the best candidate for a reroll. So again, just want to recap. We I only have four for you guys. So I can Niz, Audrey, and Mori. The rest you can get freely, which is Fenriru, Diana, Kiki, and Yulia. You can actually get in the selector. But if you select one from the selector, obviously you can select the others. So you might as well plan for your roles. Are your rerolls and also who you're gonna get for the selector? But again, we're guaranteed Fenrir at this point. So for the free SSR selector, you'll just have to wait for the 80, 8 to 14 day check in. You'll be getting the SSR selector there. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, this is a longer video than the other one. I had to make a more comprehensive video so that you guys will be able to have a good understanding on who really to reroll for and uh, who to prioritize for the SSR selector. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.